Hello there guys, we're back with another how-to video for a or on a Mavic Air 2S. The issue with this unit is a noisy motor. So the unit flies flawlessly and everything works, but the motor, one of the motors is very, very noisy. So the reason for replacing this motor or this arm with a motor attached is you do not want failure in flight on a motor on its own. One of the motors goes, the drone is just going to fall out the sky. So we are doing a front left motor and arm replacement. This one over here. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it shouldn't sound like this. Can you hear that? That's normal. This isn't. And in fact, it's it actually causes a vibration through the chassis, which you can also actually feel. Um, so we're replacing this guy today. For that, we are removing the top cover as well as the bottom cover, loosening up the core board because one of the antennas that sits in the landing gear here, gets routed through here and underneath and clips into the core wall in the back of here. But I'll show you when I get there. Just a little heat sink, light, and then the little windows for your download sensors. So as mentioned, front left arm, which is now on my right when it's upside down, and the antenna runs through here and clips in over here. So I'm just gonna lift the cord up just to get this snip through after removing the um, top cover. This usually does unclip easier i'm using plastic tools for this uh, so that you don't leave any bite marks in the actual plastic i'm doing this back to front for the sake of the camera or for the video but normally i just i just pop this in the on the edge and give it a small twist like that So it won't pull up immediately because <clears throat> of the little nose cone over here. So this, doing it this way just makes it a little bit easier and allows to get a gap in here to push the nose cone off. Just a little gap over here. Again, it's awkward, or well, it looks awkward because of the um, angle of the camera. Under normal circumstances, this takes about 10 seconds. And 
and these little screws over here they are the two that hold this in place and then a couple of clips which you'll see in a second Those over there, those screws over there, clips on the top and clips on this side. For that over there and over here. Fairly straightforward. And that's it. So as mentioned, the client's unit does have some damage, but they opted to not fix it. It's not cracked all the way, it's just sort of cosmetic scuffs, which does not affect the uh, flight time and functionality. And using the plastic smudges, no bite marks, which is exactly what you want. This over here, <clears throat> you see if this will pick up on the camera. But this over here, and usually over here, is as a result of these arms pushing up onto the top cover by design I think not the best design but yeah so the arm we are replacing like I said is the front left so as you can see there's a couple of wires and as mentioned the antenna going down so on this one, it's this white antenna over here. I'm only unplugging the cardboard flex to allow me to wiggle this past that uh, connector over there. And I might not have to loosen up the cardboard at all. You just get the soldering iron warmed up and uh, the new part ready in the meantime. As, as, as I mentioned, um, that's the replacement arm. White antenna has already been um, unclipped and removed. These are your little um, motor wires. And then the blue and yellow is the LED, which is over here. And while the solding iron the solding station heats up, let me just quickly start moving the wires and unswing the arm in the interim. Hinge is held down by just one screw. It's front right. Let's not forget. Sorry, front left. So what I like to do is I like to prep this hinge. So if you notice from that point on it pops that way and from about that point on it pulls that way. So what I normally do is I, I go sort of halfway. So when I replace the hinge it is ready to go. So 
Let's not forget the little plastic shim. All this does is it minimizes friction between the arm and the chassis itself. It looks like I am going to have to loosen up the board a bit. Need to be really, really careful for this little flex over here. In fact, let me just pull it out from the top. With a little bit of tension. Always be careful pulling this guy out because it will hook somewhere and it's okay for it to hook on plastics etc if it hooks somewhere on the board you run the risk of pulling off a component which is not good so as mentioned three wires for the actual motor two wires for the little LED light And you can't really go wrong with um, with the color coordination. You just sort of copy the opposite side, but also it is marked on the board as well. G is gray, B is black. And there's a W for the for the white. So it's not it's not possible really. To get that wrong or the wrong way around. Well, it is possible if you don't look at the lettering and just solder and desolder blind. So, the soldering energy, you know, I'm just gonna I always add, let it solder to my solder joints for it to flow quickly. After which I do some. So before you're moving it on, which is at this stage is completely loose, I like to clean up the board and then get it tinned for the new arm and then the soldering process is quite quick. Look at them shiny new balls. So as you can see, the soldered and the new or replacement arm will just get soldered onto there for the motor and those for the little LED wires and I'll be routing the antenna cable through here and here and clipped in onto the core board. Oops. 
This obviously needs to go onto the new arm. Go onto the new motor. Again, just have a listen to the difference. I just hope the mic picks this up. And then we reverse the process. Let's not forget the shim, very important. Wiggle it through the opening, make sure they're all through here, nothing is stuck along the way. And again, don't forget to show. So, what I like to do now is to pop in my hinge that'll secure in place, and then it's just Um, soldering of the wires, clipping the antenna, and reassembly test flight. So before you pop in the new hinge or axis, it is keyed. We look at that key over there. I'm not sure if it's, if it's focusing. Uh, so it can only go in one way. You can't mistake or mistakenly pop in the hinge the wrong way. Let's just test to make sure that the hinge is all lined up as it should be. And it is. Let's just get the engine out of the way first. It's going to be in the way. Always in the way. As per usual, I'm super careful with my tweezers. And a small little place to get it in the right direction, orientation. These can also be tricky to clip in if you have no experience. These guys that are over here, they can get damaged, the little antenna clips, so you have to be careful. Make sure it's 100% covered, centered, lined up, before you press down. Again, very discernible click noise when doing it. So bottom cover cannot cover it on yet and the only reason is the top frame has two little holes over here for two screws to be turned in from this side. So we'll leave it open for now. Turn it around, have a look at our wires. We'll make sure we've got the colors matched up accordingly. So white, black, and gray. So what I like to do is I like to solder from one side to the other. In other words, I'm right-handed. So I'll go from here to 
the next, into the next. And the reason is, if I solder in the grey wire first, and in the black wire, because I hold my soldering iron at this angle, I'm going to be going over this wire, over this wire, and there's a possibility of touching it with the soldering iron and then burning it, the insulation. That's the reason why I to go from here to here to here and from here to here. I'm going to return the uh, wires as well for the new arm just to make sure it's covered in leaded solder, which is the preferred solder. Lower melting point, easier to work with, etc. Always try to get it as straight as possible just to make my life easy <coughs> when holding it down. And sometimes it's because sometimes they have a mind of the other. Still watching my iron, super hot and plastic, not a good combination. Let me just secure this inside of this little clip, a little wire clip over here to secure the wire in place. Quite nice. A lot of the previous model DJI units. Um, UJI would use B7000 adhesive glue to hold it down. This is much nicer. A much nicer method of keeping the wires in place. So I'll just the LED wiring to get soldered on and get reassembly. And we're done. Thank you.